<laughs> yeah, man, this is going to be one that hits me right here, near and dear to my heart. You want to find out more? You know what to do. Welcome back, NYC Fragrance family. Man, I've been on a rip lately, but read the title, you know what this is about. My baby. The one that's been with me since 1994. It's been my signature scent, and you might ask, well, you know, it's a Chanel. It's $95. Why don't you just buy the original? For my own curiosity. I want to see what these other fragrances are about. Can they keep up with my favorite Chanel Egoise Platinum? I have two today. I'm going to mention something later, but you're going to have to wait for that one. So if you know Chanel Egoise Platinum, to me it's just almost a perfect scent. It can be used at any time and just works great. It gets compliments. It is probably it's my holy grail, man. You know, I love a lot of fragrances that I've tried over the year, this past year, and that one just puts a smile on my face every time I put it on. So that's why I'm making this video. If you know the notes, well, here are the notes. Rosemary, Lavender, Neroli, Pettigrain, Galbanum, Clary Sage, Jasmine, Geranium, Amber, Sandalwood, Oak Moss, Vetiver, and Cedar. The perfumer behind this is Jacques Polge, who is without a doubt the guy I want to meet because I just want to sit down and listen to how he came up with this fragrance. I want to be able to chop it up with him and just get in his brain, man. It, it's a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, I could be going on and on about it and know there's people that could be like, ah, it's not that great. But you know what? To each their own. I love it classified as a woody floral musk but there's no musk so why is it a floral musk who am I to argue with that it does have a somewhat of a muskiness you know that nighttime gentleman vibe the dressed up soup clone as I always refer to it to me it's closer to being a fougere than a woody floral musk but again I'm not really the biggest expert in the world I'm just an enthusiast, I'm a collector, and I love this fragrance. So, I have two fragrances here that are pretty close to the original, and both come in at a really good price point. The first one is Eau de Passion by Franck Olivier. This one I've done on my cheap list already. It's going for about $20. If you want Chanel Egoise Platinum but don't want to spend the $95, this will do it. Will this last as long as the original one does? Probably. The reformulation on the Chanel Platinum is not quite what it used to be. I do. The one good thing about this profile, whether it be the Frank Olivier or the Chanel Egoise Platinum, spray away. You can overspray this one and be still safe and not kill a bunch of baby seals and not, you know, have birds dropping out of the sky, people running out of the room. It will work and you will have what you want as a scent bubble. So I suggest definitely overspraying, whether it's the Chanel or the Franck Olivier. It is pretty close, $20, great value. The second one is a more recent release I've seen reviews on it, and when I heard that this was a Chanel Egoise Platinum, and I'm like, they usually try to do niche fragrances. I'm surprised they're doing a Chanel. And that fragrance is Armoff's Legacy. Cool looking bottle. You can see the liquid through the middle here. It opens up almost like a Zippo cigarette lighter, and kind of like clips into place. It's actually pretty cool. I like the design. It's different. And it is Chanel Platinum. There's, you know, it's not much different than the original, if there is a difference at all. Again, this one's coming in at less than $30. But as you know, some Armoffs tend to last long. So 
what I will say with this one is it will probably outperform the original. So that is definitely worth checking out if you do if you're a lover of Chanel Platinum Egoise like I am or Chanel Egoise Platinum however you would like to pronounce it because the, the labeling on the bottle has changed over the years. I think the newest one says Chanel Platinum Egoist. The old one used to say Chanel Egoist Platinum. Either way, whichever one you're into, these are good alternatives if you don't want to spend the $95. Now, my honorable mention, I'm going to put a picture up of it. It comes from the House of Arabian Oud and it is called Gentleman's Secret. Gentleman's Secret is the niche version of Chanel Egoist Platinum. That's all there is to say about it. It comes in at maybe $20, I think, I believe it's $115 USD, which is $20, $20 more than the original Chanel Platinum. What I will say though is, if you want Platinum on steroids, get the Arabian Oud version. If you love the fragrance as much as I do, because I'm going to add this one to my collection, because I do love the fragrance that much, I will be getting the Arabian Oud version. So, remember to like this video, remember to comment below with your thoughts on Chanel Leguise Platinum and any of these other fragrances I've spoken about today. Share what some of your Holy Grail fragrances are, I'd like to hear about it. And remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.